a ton is made about Josh Allen's interceptions. I would I like to see them cut down a bit? Sure. Um, they also don't overly concern me. I think there's there's context to every turnover that when you're looking at the raw stats, you're not going to get that full context. And I know like the whole arm punt thing was thrown around a lot last year. Um, I think that gets overused. Some of them were kind of whatever, we're in a bad situation, toss it up. And if it ends up being a pick, it's a pick. Um, I think there's some in there that were really bad. There's some in there that you can live with. Um, As long as my quarterback is combining for 44 touchdowns, I can live with the 18 interceptions. Um, It seems to be a trend with Josh Allen that, you know, other quarterbacks that are in similar stratosphere, um, talent wise, turnover wise, all that. We don't talk about them as much. It's it's just a Josh Allen narrative. Um, I personally, I, I I don't really care about the turnovers. I think there's situations where you can clean it up. I also think that there's a certain level of gunslinger to Josh Allen that you know. It, you don't want to try to reel it in too much because part of what makes him so special is his ability to make these ridiculous off-script plays, and sometimes they go sideways, and it's a turnover. It It is what it is. Um, I think we saw kind of at the beginning of last year uh, under Dorsey, you know, kind of this reeled-in version of Josh Allen and, and, and what happened. We were all clamoring for set Josh free, let him run, let him throw. Uh, he just looks like he's just a football player. He He's not the the most cerebral quarterback out there. Not, not to say that he's not. Um, not to say that he's not good at it. Um, he's just not like that number one guy at like everything's perfectly processed. I, I think of like a Joe Burrow for that type of quarterback. Um, what makes him so special is, you know, his, his crazy outlandish style of play. Um, so like I said, we saw that kind of reeled in last year and we didn't like it. Um, he didn't look like he was having fun. He looked like he was overanalyzing. He looked like he was pressing and, you know, we saw the change of court coordinator, um, kind of a little bit of a philosophy shift and Josh Allen looked like Josh Allen again. He was on the sidelines, you know, going crazy, hyped up, uh, pounding his chest, all that type of stuff. And we didn't see that in the earlier stages of the year. Um, Now with Brady taking over as the full-time offensive coordinator and we see kind of the changes to the wide receiver room, I think there is going to be a lot put on Josh's shoulders of, you know, kind of processing defenses, making the right decisions, being a point guard, distributing the ball, all that type of stuff. And I think Josh has shown his ability to do that. And this year should be kind of like that point guard mentality and still do the off script stuff when you have to. Um, I think without the pressure of that, bona fide number one receiver that's got to get his 10 targets a game and just sort of moving through progressions and getting the ball into open space, letting these guys make plays um, with the ball in their hand. I think we're going to see a really special year for Josh Allen. 